not someone, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I do lifestyle, productivity, and organizational videos. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. But I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna give you my pros, my cons, my honest review on Monet and how I've liked it in this whole past year and a half that I've been using it. So I'm just gonna first start off with when I started Monet, how my hair looked, etc., etc. So when I first started Monet, my hair was kind of, being completely honest here, my hair was very lifeless. I really wanted my hair to be fuller and like have more life and length. I really wanted to have long hair. And it just takes me so long to, to grow my hair, especially the fact that back then when I started using Monet was around the time that I started dyeing my hair. And little by little, I just kept dyeing it more and more and more. I didn't really dye like colorful or like anything exotic, but I did bleach it as you can see now, it's pretty blonde. But I just continuously, continuously kept dyeing my hair blonder and blonder. So of course your hair is gonna have more breakage, it's gonna look more lifeless and it's just gonna not be thriving. I purchased Monet and I spent about $130 I think, but I got like a huge amount of products. I got like two shampoos, two conditioners, an oil, like a leave-in conditioner. Like I got like a bunch of products. I got like little clips. It was like a lot. So it was worth it for me. I, I'm like a big believer in that if you're getting quality products, you, I'm open to paying more. I'm not gonna pay a ridiculous amount, but I will pay more. I purchased, I think it was called the Advanced Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. Or you know what? No, it was the Advanced Hydrating shampoo and it was like a smoothing conditioner pretty much what it what it was that i purchased and the first time i washed i, I was shown like you have to like um put it in your hand like shake the bottle because it's oil based put it in your hand and then you're gonna like lather it up and then wet your hair and you know um lather it. and then of course wash twice which i had already been doing not a lot of people do that but if you didn't know you have to wash your hair twice to really get the gunk out the first one is for like the actual grease and then the second one is like so the actual product kind of gets on your hair and your hair can react to it. But with that being said, I tried it out. I started washing my hair with it. And like my first wash, my hair was super frizzy. I was like, this is disgusting. I hate this so much. Like there's no way that I'm gonna be using this. Like my hair looks worse. So I kind of texted the person I bought it from and I was like, oh, like this is like terrible. No, like, please no, like this is bad. And I did not give it a chance because my hair looks super frizzy. She was like, this is your hair reacting to the products because they're very clean and vegan and they don't have a lot of chemicals in them. So your hair is just reacting. Please just trust me, give it two months. I was like, you know what? I spent a lot of money on this. I'm just gonna give it two months, whatever. Like I'll just iron my hair after, not a big deal. It didn't actually like change the texture of my hair where like it looked different when I ironed it or anything. So it was fine because either way I would iron my hair and curl it because I love curling my hair. Months pass, maybe like two or three months pass. My hair is getting way better. I'm starting to see the frizz die down. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I want to switch shampoos. Like, I'm not feeling the shampoo. I feel like it's too watery. I hate the consistency of, of shampoos that don't lather. I hate that. So that was like a deal breaker for me. I was like, I don't like that. Like, it's just not my vibe. So I asked her for another shampoo that maybe lathers more and that might work better for my hair. So she recommended me the one I use now, which is called Renew. And this shampoo is pretty much, let's see what it says. It says for medium to thick dry hair, which is kind of what I have pretty much. I loved it off the back way more because I felt like it had more lather and it actually like bubbled and all of that. So I love that part of it. And then I ended up also before I got Renew, I like kind of experimented with this other, yes, it's this brand or like this line. It was a line. It had like a whole project, like a whole product line and it's called the restructuring pre-wash um, or this is the pre restructuring pre-wash conditioner, but the line is called the restructuring line. And it's pretty much for like super damaged and like dyed over processed hair, which was, I was like, that was me. I need this. But she warned me that you can't be using it that much because it is very high in protein so your hair can end up like breaking because it gets too brittle or like too too strong and then it breaks so i started using this one this one is pretty much like one that you have to like use a conditioner before you wash and the goal in that is that so that when you wash your hair doesn't break you also have to use like a mask and then there's also this product which is the inner force restructuring serum which i ended up not really liking this line either so as you can see i have tried a lot of products that's not even half of it so this is a very honest review i ended up not really liking that one because it didn't lather also and then that's when the renew shampoo came in and that's when i used this product and i ended up really liking this shampoo 
and I was still using the same conditioner I was initially using like from the beginning the smoothing conditioner and I ended up just continuing using that conditioner because and eh, whatever like it didn't really do anything it was around this time that I started realizing like I feel like I'm losing a lot of hair and uh this whole scandal about like being like balding and all this stuff from Monet had it really ever like crossed my path i've never heard of it and i was like eh, like i texted her and i was like i feel like my hair is really like falling out a lot she was like no like trust me that's fine like that's just your hair reacting and i was like you know what it's fine like i'm not seeing like a huge hair loss like my hair is fine and i'm i'm starting to kind of like the products a lot more now that i've used them longer and it's already been maybe like maybe four or five six months i go to my mom and my mom my hair i feel like i'm losing like a giant ball of hair like in the shower and i hadn't really realized that i was ar around when i started using monet also that i started kind of transitioning into trying to wash my hair just once a week my mom kind of told me karina if you're washing hair once a week you're gonna lose more hair in the shower because you're not losing as much hair regularly which totally makes sense and i kind of just like took her word for it it was fine everything was fine and dandy and i just kept using it I kept losing the same amount of hair it never got better but my hair over the course of maybe the eighth ninth throughout the first the end of the first year my hair started feeling super thick and right now it's still very thick um my hair just started feeling super full i started really starting to see the difference in how that my hair was just a lot more full and the length was just off the charts actually right now i just got a haircut i cut off like that much so you could just see that my hair is still kind of very long and super thick like it doesn't dwindle at the edges it was maybe around the beginning of quarantine that i started noticing my hair was very like shiny and it would dry very nice it wouldn't dry frizzy and i had noticed that was because my hair had grown out a lot and my hair hadn't been dyed in over eight months with this being said i was due to do my hair in i think april i ended up doing it in june i think because of quarantine like the salon was closed and all of that so i couldn't do it and once i dyed my hair i realized that my hair got a little bit more frizzy so i can't really like blame that on the products that's just more the fact that i bleached my hair and that's fine over time like after a couple washes maybe in a month my hair kind of goes back to normal after it freaks out initially okay so that's kind of like my story right now i'm still using the renew shampoo I'm, and i'm i started just using the pre-wash restructuring pre-wash conditioner which is supposed to be used before shampoo but i ended up just using it after my shampoo with the renew shampoo and i actually love this conditioner way more than the smoothing conditioner even though it's not even supposed to be like a conditioner i use it as one i use it once a week obviously because i only wash my hair once a week but it's just a game changer i literally feel like my hair dries completely different when i use this conditioner i don't just use strictly monet products like i mostly do but there's this one mask that i've spoken about a lot on my channel that is for um, blonde hair and it just makes my hair so soft and smells amazing and it's just a great great mask so if you want to try this if you're blonde i highly recommend it it's the tech italy lumina forza color matisante it's for blonde hair like ashy blonde hair and i love it it really keeps my hair without needing to like go back and get it done every like five seconds i love the product still the only thing i could say is that i feel like my hair if i don't wash the products out really good it's, it's mostly this shampoo the renew shampoo it's very like thick in product so if you don't really wash it out you do get a little dandruff and you kind of feel like build up okay so now i'm gonna go into the part of the video where i speak about the products that i use after the shower and these are the products that i have found that just makes such a difference if there was something that I had to give up from the monet products it would probably be more like the shampoo and the conditioner more than the after products the after products are amazing i love them so i obviously have a thousand monet products because i've tried it all I've, i really gave it my all i love this it's pretty much called rejuva beads and it's like a split end mender i've seen so many videos where they put a little drop of this on like a split end and it like closes up by itself which is super cool i love that um this product is awesome and i also really like the frizz fix which is these are the two products i use after the shower i've tried the leave-in conditioner the leave-in conditioner is good but i don't want to put both the frizz and the leave-in conditioner together because i feel like that's too much so it's either one or the other last product i use that's amazing that's my favorite product of monet is the rejuvenique oil this oil is amazing i love it i love putting it after i wash my hair i love putting it after i iron my hair because it makes it so beautiful it smells like lemon which i love because it's so citrusy and this is the product i would literally recommend the most out of all products like i'm not even kidding you right now i will say that i do not feel like my hair has fallen out 
if not gotten thicker i have gotten regular haircuts i love the way my hairstylist cuts my hair as well so that makes a huge difference the way that my hair is isn't just due to monet it's due to the fact that i take really good care of it when i iron my hair he uses olaplex i mean when i dye my hair he uses olaplex it's not gonna be overly processed overly damaged and gonna be like fried and dead but i have noticed significant change in the thickness and the length of my hair so i will credit that to monet because i haven't really ever had this much thickness or length what any other products that i've used so that's like for sure that's where i credit that because i have never experienced this and i the only difference in my hair style or routine is that i get regular haircuts and that i use these products again i don't sell these products i don't want anyone to think that i'm like promoting this because i don't really care if you use it or not i'm just being honest for anyone who is considering it to see kind of someone who has been using it for a very long time i also want to mention that everyone's hair reacts differently anyone can have extreme cases to any shampoo product just how i would say the same thing for any skincare product your skin is different your hair is different just how skincare varies so widely hair care also varies very widely and it is important to find products that work well for you these products work well for me and i have very i don't have thin hair i don't have thick hair it's kind of in the middle but i do feel like i have a lot more hair now and my hair is wavy so if you wanted to kind of know what type of hair i have so you could kind of if you have the same hair type as me you could kind of see i do wash my hair once a week and that is something that you will have to if your hair is not like very dry and your scalp isn't very dry and you do have to wash your hair more times a week. It is something that you have to condition your hair to kind of slowly but surely get used to. I wouldn't just start off not washing hair for a week. You're going to feel disgusting. So that's my kind of regimen. That's my honest review. I love the products. Will I use them forever? Probably not. I have been using them for a long time and I am scared to stop using them because I love my hair now so I just don't want it to be that Monet is the sole reason why they're like this and then all of a sudden my hair just like freaks out and turns terrible. That's like a huge problem that's stopping me from stopping the, using the products just because like you see all these cool new like hair products and you want to try them and you want to see like how they are and what they do etc etc but i'm just really scared to do that right now i'm not in the kind of mindset to kind of just freak my hair out right now but i'm not going to use these products forever it's just not something that i feel like i need to do i also do feel like changing your hair care just like how you have to change your skincare once your skin gets used to it once your hair gets used to a product you have to transfer it or change your regimen just to give your hair a kind of restart that's all i'm not gonna ramble on anymore if you guys have any questions regarding monet i i probably forgot some stuff leave that down below in the comments i'll definitely answer let you know thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all your support i appreciate you watching the video and taking the time to support me if you're new here make sure to subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys next week